On this show, you'll see guitars from all major manufacturers and small bench luthiers. I've had the pleasure of reviewing over 500 acoustic guitars, and in each review, I play the same songs recorded the same way, so you can compare the sound of any guitar I've ever reviewed. I'm Tony Policastro. Welcome to Acoustic Guitar Heaven. Hey there, Tony Policastro here from Acoustic Life TV, and today we're going to have a look at the Martin Dreadnought Jr. This particular guitar, when it first came out, I believe it was about a year, year and a half ago, I was mildly skeptical about. I thought to myself, why would you make a 15 16th size Dreadnought? It seems, well, it seems like why wouldn't you just go get a full size Dreadnought and be happy with it? And then the more I played with the guitar, the more I heard about it, the more I actually had it in my possession, I thought, you know what? This is perfect for a travel guitar. This is perfect for somebody that's just smaller and maybe can't handle a full dreadnought. And this is perfect for maybe a kid that wants to get into playing guitar and can't quite fit into a full-size guitar, full-size dreadnought for that matter. Uh, so it has its, its perfect little niche. And I gotta be honest, it sounds really, really good. What I love about it is that it retains the overall shape of the dreadnought, but also it retains its uh, tonal characteristics. It's loud, has great volume, but it also has really wonderful bass response, which dreadnoughts are known for. And again, as I mentioned, it's a 15 16th 15 16th size dreadnought body paired with a 24 inch scale length so it's very comfortable in your hand and and pretty easy to play as well it's nice to kind of hold this guitar it doesn't move around a lot and uh Overall, again, comfort is a huge issue with this guitar in, in a good way. Uh, on the top, we have a solid Sitka spruce top uh, paired with X bracing that is quarter inch and scalloped. So the top is braced pretty lightly, so it's very, very responsive. I think it reacts really well with the scale length and the size of the guitar. I think it's just a great match. Uh, the back and sides are made of Sapelli. The bridge is rich light matched with a tusk saddle. We also have a black rich light fingerboard with small dot inlay. And if you're not familiar with rich light, it's, uh, it's, it's an ebony alternative. It's a man-made ebony alternative. It's a very hard, durable substance and makes a, a great replacement for uh, fingerboards and bridges. The nut width is an inch and three quarter, and that's a, a tusk nut on this. And one of the things that I really appreciate about this guitar having a, an inch and three quarter nut width is the fact that on a lot of travel guitars, the standard, standard nut width is, it feels really cramped. It feels difficult to play. Even though it's standard, it just feels difficult because it's on a smaller guitar. This being an inch and three quarter, uh, really is comfortable. I found all the chord voicings pretty easy to play and it's just easy to flat pick, easy to finger pick. We have a standard style Martin headstock overlay, or rather standard style Martin headstock with an HPL overlay. The Martin logo right on the top there, closed gear tuners and kind of a flat C profile neck. It's really comfortable to hold. It's not too thin. Uh, it seems to be just right, at least for my personal preference. So overall, the Martin Dreadnought Jr. is a complete grand slam in my opinion, and it comes equipped with the Fishman Sonotone pickup system. So if you do take it on travel and you happen to want to hit an open mic, you can plug in and play just like that. It has a wonderful nylon gig bag with it as well. Easy to carry and the guitar is super light. So with all that being said, I'd love to play the Martin Dreadnought Jr. so you could hear what it sounds like. <laughs>
If you like that review, you're gonna love the reviews I have coming up next. I'm doing reviews like crazy. I mean, look at all these guitars. It's insane, I'm in guitar heaven. And I want you to be in guitar heaven too, so make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And speaking of being in guitar heaven, if you happen to be out there shopping for an acoustic guitar, you're gonna need my acoustic guitar buyer's guide. It goes through all the different body sizes, tone woods, things to consider when you're looking for the right acoustic guitar for you. So make sure to grab that by clicking in the link below or here in the video. Thanks a lot.